As a faceless YouTube creator, I rely heavily on AI-generated images to keep my content looking fresh and engaging. And if you're like me, you know how powerful images can capture attention and boost engagement, which means more views and, of course, more subscribers. But here's the thing. Most AI image generators have two big problems. They're not free and they have daily limits that can slow you down. I was tired of constantly registering with a new email every time I hit those daily limits. Well, if that sounds familiar, you're in the right place. Today, I will show you a tool that lets you create mid-journey-like AI images for free with no limitations. I was blown away by the quality of images it could generate, all without any restrictions. Seriously, I couldn't believe how good it looked, especially for something that's completely free. So stick around because I will walk you through how to use this tool step by step. It's super easy and you can start making awesome AI images right away. So sit back, hit subscribe, and let's dive in. All right, the tool I'm talking about is called Focus and it's a Google Colab based tool. The best part, it's completely free and cloud-based, which means you don't need an expensive, high-powered computer to use it. You can even do this from your phone. First, open your web browser and search for Focus Google Colab. Click the link and you should see an interface like this. Easy, right? Now, hit the connect button to link to the GPU. This will just take a second, then you can click on the play button to start running the code. It might take a minute, so just hang tight. Once that's done, you'll see a link that says Gradio. Click on that, and it'll take you to the actual interface where you can start generating your images. In this box, you'll type in your prompt. This is where you describe what you want to create. For example, I'm going to type in, generate the image of a beautiful woman. Now you just hit generate. Let's wait for it. Once it's done, you'll see your image pop up. And I gotta say, the quality is on another level. Seriously, this is way better than any free image generator out there. And here, it's generating a picture of a beautiful woman. Looks like it's generating two images for us, actually. The first one, we can click on and you can see the face clearly. The image quality is just incredible. Here's the second one. So we've got both images. This is the first photo and this is the second. Both have amazing image quality. Now let's head over to advanced. Over in advanced, let's check out the settings. Then under preset, we can select from different options like initial, realistic, lighting, save, the system, We'll tweak the style and model automatically based on the preset you pick. We're going to walk through it. So when we click on the tool, it starts generating all these amazing presets for us. You can see it's loading right now and there are some fantastic quality options. Now, what's great is that Focus has multiple aspect ratio options ready for you. The realistic preset has selected the nine by seven ratio, but you can choose whatever you need for your project. I'll just keep the nine by seven. Here you can select the file format. The realistic preset automatically selected the PNG option, but you can choose any format that fits your needs. Let's switch to the initial preset. This preset chooses speed over quality. Now in the performance section, you get to choose whether you want the quality or speed you can go for extreme speed, lighting speed, or hyper SD. But for now, I'm going to pick quality because I really like my images to come out looking sharp. As for the pixel count, the tool gives us a variety of ratios, like 1 by 2, 4 by 7, and 9 by 7. For now, I'll leave it at 9 by 7, which comes out to 1152 by 896 pixels. I'll leave it the way it is, uh, but you can play with it and adjust it to your, your liking. We also have the option to select the number of images we want. Uh, by default, the system comes with two images, but you can increase it all the way up to 32 images. All right, when it comes to formats, you can choose from PNG, JPEG, and Web. I'm going to stick with PNG for now, but feel free to pick what works for your project. 
There's also an important section called negative prompt, which helps optimize the quality of the image you're going to generate. It's a crucial step for getting the best results. And here's something cool. You can also copy prompts from ChatGPT and paste them directly here for even better results. All right, here we have a negative prompt. I simply copied it from ChatGPT into the little chat box. Now let's check it out. And if you wanna use the prompt, you can. I'll leave it in the description. Here, we simply uncheck the checkbox in the random section and the seed option will appear. The seed is basically like a randomizer for the image. It's a number that influences how the image turns out. If you use the same seed, you'll get the same image every time. So it helps you recreate specific results if you want to. It's like a starting point that makes sure the image is made in a, in a certain way. Okay, now let's move on to the next section. Here we can use a style and all you have to do is click here to cover it. You can hover over the different styles to see what kinds of styles are available. I'm going to leave the default style for now, but I'll explain the different styles in a moment. Next, we can choose the model we want and that's it. You can adjust the intensity of the changes as well. Let's click generate. The images are being generated now. I'll just skip ahead to speed things up. Perfect, here we have our influencer image. It looks great. Don't forget to save your images. If you miss it, no worries. You can always grab them from your history section later. Let's explore how to create consistent characters. We'll use the variation function. First, we need to check input image. Make sure the upscale variation tab is selected. Next, let's import our reference image. This is the image we're going to use as a reference. We'll click here on very strong for a new variation and we're going to make some slight changes to the image prompt. I'll change it to generate the image of a beautiful woman sitting at the beach. Let's go ahead and generate it. Perfect. Now we have our two image variations of our model at the beach. Again, always remember to download them once they're ready. Now the face of our reference image matches the face of both generated images. So here we have two different variations of the women at the beach. Now let's tweak the prompt a bit and use our face swap function. Once the images are downloaded, let's go to input image and then image prompt. Now let's upload our beach image. Next, let's hit advanced, like and we're going to select the face wrap. And for the weight, let's select one, but feel free to play around with these options. I'm going to start with one here, but you can increase the intensity if you need to. So one is a good balance for now. Now let's slightly change the prompt. We're going to type at the coffee shop to change the image. There you have it. Our influencer character stays consistent. Okay, let's try the style function now. So we're generating an image of a beautiful woman looking directly at the camera and smiling. Let's see what we get. Okay, let's load in the first image. Look at the quality. These are some truly amazing images. You won't find this kind of quality for free anywhere else. Now, let's try something different. We're keeping the same prompt, but switching to the SAI anime style. Let's hit generate and see what happens. The style should be completely different with a science fiction element added in. The prompt stays the same, but now it's transforming the image into an anime style artwork. And uh, here's the result. This is a really cool anime style picture. Let's see the second one. And here it is. Very nice. Now let's explore more styles. Let's try a psychedelic style next. I'll keep the prompt the same and simply switch the style. There are plenty of options to choose from, but uh, I'm all looking for the psychedelic style. Found it. I'll select it and hit generate to see the results. Here's the first image. Um, oh wow, this could work great as a YouTube thumbnail or even an Instagram post. The colors are really interesting. And here's the second one. This one looks even better, uh, a beautiful psychedelic style image. Now let's uncheck these options and move on to pixel art. This one should be interesting. I'll select it and hit generate 
to see the results. Let's find out what happens. Here we go. The first image is ready. Um, hmm. This doesn't quite look like pixel art. Let's tweak it a bit. Now let's try cyberpunk. This should give us a futuristic neon lit look. Let's generate. Wow, this one turned out fantastic. This is a perfect neopunk style image. The details are incredible and it looks like something straight out of a science fiction movie. And now the second image is ready just as stunning. I'd say both of them look fantastic with a clean, fresh look. I'm really loving the purple vibes in the image. She looks so alive and full of energy. I'll go ahead and uncheck the neopunk and select the SAI comic book style. Let's see if we can turn this into a comic book style image. Here are the two images. Uh, one of them looks like a real photo. Uh, now let's check the second one. Like, this one is great. It really has a comic book style. Are you all enjoying the app so far? Let me know in the comments. And if you're loving it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Now let's move to another cool setting. Paracanny is a great option for generating a character in a similar pose. Let's give it a try. I've created a prompt. A beautiful woman looking directly at the camera, sitting on the ground. The camera captures her full body pose. Now, let's upload our image. Make sure the input image option is selected and that you're in the image prompt tab. We now have an image of a woman sitting on the ground. Next, click advanced. We'll keep the face swap option enabled to maintain consistency in our character's face. You know, set the weight to one. Uh, for the pose image, we'll select Paracanny. Now let's tweak our prompt a bit. I'll change ground to street so she appears in a street setting. All right, let's hit generate and see the results. Here's our result. She's in the exact same pose in both images. The fingers aren't perfect, but overall, the AI is doing a great job of maintaining the details. All right, guys, we're almost done. The last feature we're checking out is in paint out paint. So what's the deal? In paint lets you remove or replace parts of an image by masking over them, while out paint expands the image beyond its original boundaries, basically extending the scene or creating a new background. Pretty cool, right? Let's jump in. Um, first, make sure the input image is selected. Then head over to the in paint out paint tab. Now let's load our image. We've got this handy paint tool that lets us draw directly on the image. For this example, I'm going to draw a line on her neck to simulate a necklace. Now let's type our prompt. Gold necklace and hit generate. Boom! Our model is now rocking a beautiful gold necklace. And let's try the same for earrings. I'll type gold earrings and hit generate. And just like that, she's wearing a stunning pair of gold earrings. Now let's go for sunglasses. I'll paint over the sunglasses area, type stylish sunglasses and hit generate. This tool is uh, super fun and easy to use. You can tweak accessories, outfits and more in just a few clicks. And there it is. She just got a fresh new pair of glasses. Give it a try and let me know what cool edits you come up with. And there you have it, a completely free and limitless AI image generator that you can use to create anything you can imagine. Whether you're making thumbnails, social media posts, or just having fun with AI art, Focus is perfect for content creators and marketers like us. If this video helped you out, give it a like, share it with your fellow creators, and leave a comment down below with the kind of images you're planning to make. I want to hear what cool stuff you're working on. If you like the video, make sure you subscribe, like, and click the bell icon so you never miss a new video. I've got plenty more tutorials coming your way. Thanks for watching, and as always, keep creating.